Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Crosspad Castle. I am the mischievous rogue, and this is a PMX editor to Blender tutorial. Now, this is baby's first Miku edit. If you're a beginner MMDer and you don't know what you're doing, I'm going to show you my workflow from PMX editor to Blender 2.93 LTS. Um, the reason for this tutorial, there's lots of tutorials out there for PMX editor, but the basic reason is Blender is just easier and better to use. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this program, Blender, um, to edit our models so we can make um, a model. Just go ahead and delete, perform the ritualistic uh, sacrifice of the cube. There we go. Uh, you know, blend inside Blender joke, everyone always deletes the cube and it goes into the, you know, I don't know. It goes wherever Jimbo went. You know, the shadow dimension. All right. Anyways, guys. All right. So I'm going to show you the basics. Uh, right now, I'm on DeviantArt. I've already picked my clothing items. I decided to go to this user's DeviantArt. Uh, they're called Fake and Drew. And a lot of these are game ripped uh, models that have been ripped and um, weight pained to PMX models. We're going to start with this. This is a good place to start. I prefer stuff from The Sims. It's just a lot. It, um, it's easier to work with. There's not a lot of physics. Uh, physics can complicate things and then physics uh, require a lot of tutorials. Uh, you know, so there's a lot, 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 you know, your physics can really wonk and screw things up. So right now we're just going to really focus on basic weight painting, basic PMX building. So I'm using this user stuff um, only for the clothing base just because, you know, I can. So credit to this person, you know, and this is not a sellable item. You do not own this item. If you use this item, you know, you're just putting it on your model and it's just for fun. Okay. So. First, you're going to go into PMX Editor. Oh, and if you don't know where to get PMX Editor, I am going to show you where to get it. If you want to get PMX Editor, uh, you can come to learnmmd.com, and here it is right here. This is the most current version. That's in English. So that's why we're just using this as an exporter today. So you just go to File, you go to Open. Um, I downloaded that TDE Miku base I showed you. All right, and now we're going to drop all of the clothing on the model. All of your stuff has to be in the same folder, okay? All of it. So this TDA Miku base folder that I downloaded on DeviantArt, I copied all of the contents uh, of the folders. You know, all of it's, you know, in one folder together. And then you go to, uh, you know, I put test. This will all get cleaned up at the end of our tutorial, but not right now. We're literally going to drop... Uh, the the pants and their textures and their uh, SPHs. We're gonna drop the complicated top and all and its textures and its spheres. All of it's just dropped into one folder. So the TDA base is gonna be here. The cargo pants that have been fitted for TDA. The complicated top. We're just and the bad habit ankle boots. We're just gonna drop those straight onto Miku. Um, as long as it's all in the same folder with the base. Um, it will weight paint itself. This is the nice thing about PMX Editor is that um, because Miku is kind of... The whole reason I'm even showing you a Miku edit is kind of just like what everybody uses and all of the bones are the same name. Uh, if you weight paint a shirt and from a game rip, you make something and then you kind of just export it onto here. So it's on your... Um, you just drop it on. I'll, I'm going to show you that. It will merge the two armatures. And Blender doesn't have... I mean, Blender has some options like that, but it doesn't, you know, uh, especially with the Cats plugin, but it doesn't do that easily. Okay, I want some boots. You go to Add. Um, make sure you have automatic bone names, bone position, merge duplicated name bones, and then you press OK. And the size here... This can control the scale, but we're not going to worry about any of that because Blender is where we take care of that. Okay, we drop the boots in here. They're right on top of the model, but they don't really fit. And we're not going to worry about fitting this stuff at all. All right. Now we're going to do uh, the cargo pants. I'm going to drop those on there. Some of these may or may not have their textures on, and I'll show you how to retexture them in Blender. But uh, I don't care for PMX Editor when Blender can do the job. 
So much better. Oh, goodness sake. Oh, boy. Well, we're not going to worry about that. She has two butts now. But okay, so let's keep going. All right, so we got the, the, the cargo pants on. We have the boots on. Uh, now we're going to... And I know this all looks silly. I promise you it will come together. You drop the top. Add the top. Same thing with the automatic bone names, bone position, merge, duplicated bones, and the size. Press OK. And you're like, well, this isn't working. Um, first off, make sure... The reason I picked these basic Sims clothes is they don't have physics. Uh, these are the rigid world bodies. Blender will see these, and you'll be able to see them in Blender. Don't mess with these. This, These physics here will break your model if you delete them. You know, don't do anything with them. Leave them alone. Uh, but technically... Um, so if you go into PMX editor and you go to T here, that's for the transform view. A lot of the stuff is already weight paned correctly. I know it looks silly because we merged them. So if you see that, so when we move stuff, it's going to be weight paned correctly, which is the nice thing about PMX editor. Let's export this. You go to file, save as. Um, I'm, I don't name my models until they're complete. So I just put them as like test one. Um, and Blender, you know, will export this model completely by itself to a new folder with all of its textures and you won't have that mess. You can just delete the previous folder. Now, we've opened Blender and this is uh, 2.93 LTS. Um, that is what is compatible with the new MND UNIF tools. Okay, that's what you'll find them as. I have a tutorial on how to install, where to find them. So here we go. We're going to import the model. We're going to go to our desktop. We're going to find the tutorial folder. Uh, I think this is it. And we're going to look for the uh, test. There we go. Test one. Okay, here is our nightmare. Don't worry about scaling like in some of my other tutorials. We don't need to worry about that. Alright, so now it's all one monster. And that's fine. This is the usual problem with Miku and PMX models. And it's not a hard error to fix. I will show you how to do that right now. So first, you click on the mesh. You go to the MMD tools. You separate by materials. Okay. We're not going to worry about that. We're going to... I'm going to... I'm going to hide the clothes that I don't want to move. First. Um... You know, uh, I'm going to hide the t-shirt and I'm going to hide, uh, let's see, the pants. i got to find that. There's the pants and the boots. And um, the nice thing about, so say you don't know where a part is. Oh, God, she looks like she has a horrifying elephant trunk. Okay. Click the tie. The nice thing about Blender, unlike PMX Editor, is when you click on a mesh and it's been separated, you can find it right here highlighted. And then you can just hide it. And that's all I'm doing. All I did was hide these so I can clean up the textures. Alright, so you click on the body of your TDA base. Go to the Materials tab. You're going to scroll down. MMD um, Tools, when you install it, automatically does this. You're going to go to MMD Texture. You're going to see Texture. You're going to be sphere, uh, sphere Texture. And then under that, it says Use Shared Tunes. Um, this is uh, will automatically put on the tune shader that's in, uh, it's like a texture uh, it's, that's kind of opaque, um, that is automatically, like you can, in MMD, MMD, you won't see it. You'll see, see like a shine. You want to turn that off for Blender. Okay. And you're going to, anywhere you see that purple error. Now, these are not missing textures. And I, I will show you the difference later of a, a model that has missing textures. Um, and that will look very similar, but the catch is when you come scroll down to like, oh my god, it must be a problem. Um, this won't be checked, so that won't be the error. So if you're missing your textures, all you do is you go to File, External Data, Find Missing Files, go to your folder, and then like this is the texture folder, then you'll click Find Missing Files. But we don't need to do that, because that's not the error we're having. This is just a normal thing. Whenever you load a PMX model, it'll just be purple, generally. Not all models. The more uh, modern models or optimized, like Miku's, even TDAs, I, I don't really have issues with that. I only really have issues with um, some of these. Okay, so. 
we're going to start small. All right, so she is completely um, just in her tidy whities and we're going to turn off her armature so we don't have to look at it. Um, she is ready to start uh, messing with the meshes. <laughs> 